Okay, this is just showing how quickly how you can use the citation tool within Microsoft Word to manage your references. So, looking at this here, this is an old document that I had before, um, and it has a references section, but I used EndNote to do that. Now, if you have got access to EndNote, I do find that it is actually very good, but it does have a high learning curve. So what I'm actually going to show here is I'm actually going to get rid of this references section entirely because we will actually be using a new bibliography section totally in here. So we'll be placing in new references and so forth like that. And also I will show how to work with existing references. So we have here an insert citation. I do have an actual existing citation already for uh, for this document already stored but i also want to show how to add in new references for that so first things first is this is that if i was to place in a new source in other words that i have this document here now it is no way relation to the document that i'm working on but i just wanted to show you how to how to copy them across so what we need to do is this is a website so what we need to do is obviously copy the url We'll go back to a Microsoft document and under references and under insert citation we need to do add new source so it is a website so we have I've copied the URL there okay the date accessed was the date that we access ourselves in other words the, um, the day we read the document now this is important Okay, it's very important reference to put in because obviously if the reference ever the website goes and doesn't um, um, re reappear, it does mean we can at least quote it properly. And I'm just copying the name of the reference here. Um, and I just go back to here and the name of it. Okay, and the corporate author. Okay, corporate author. Obviously, in this case, it will be digital desktop. Right? Okay, if you wanted to. Okay, but again, to you know what I mean. We don't. Um, for most places, just some references will be okay. So, once I have that done, and if I click on OK, it will place in this reference. It will do two things. It will obviously store a reference, but it also then too, it will place this reference at this point here. Okay. Note I already have a reference here, Press Association, but I don't have a bibliography done here. But if you do have an existing reference and you, you wish to place it, it is quite as straightforward as placing it where you want to place on text. And if it exists already, it will be listed here. But obviously you can go into Manage Sources and you can, if you wish to, place it that way. But the best thing to actually do at this point in time is store your reference first of all, then go in and click on it and it places it there. Once that is done and you have all your references and so forth like that, you may wish to then insert a bibliography. Now I'm placing one there, but if you go to insert, obviously page break and it goes into bibliography there. Okay. And if I go then back to references and okay, bibliography, whatever one we want, okay, works cited and so forth like that, that would be probably the best one, okay. Our references, in other words, it would, it would just have the inbuilt, inbuilt title there, but we can just place it like that, and we have okay, our three references okay now if we wanted to obviously we could go to home and drink okay sorry there now and what was it going to say if you wanted to you could obviously what was it going to say and just even do it like that and you can see the references are separated okay it's a very very quick way of putting in references it, it builds it up and again to that if I wish to place another reference and so forth like that it will take care of it for us okay it will do 
most of the hard work for us okay so if I did go in and supposing if I wanted to change something in the sources themselves okay like this one there okay let's just say if I wanted to open that one and obviously change some okay notion of the reference itself I I got the year wrong or something to that effect or the URL has changed or something to that effect you can go in change it and in fact I'll actually just change something here okay uh, coronavirus solidarity diary okay let's just say if that was 5,000 and let's just say for argument's sake the frontline workers in Ireland let's just say that that okay and what was it going to say we did that okay yes we wish to update it will update that okay and if I close that you may need okay uh, what was it going to say uh, for frontline workers okay you may need okay to go and what was it going to say insert the okay bibliography again okay but you can see okay that there it has changed okay obviously get rid of the old references okay and if you wanted to obviously then it this looks way better if you think if I if you ask me okay go to there and drink oh whoops sorry there and even if you did okay what was going to say just even that okay it looks way better and obviously it, it it takes care of it for you okay that's just a quick primer on how to use the inbuilt referencing obviously you can do it manually but i feel that if you use the inbuilt referencing it takes a lot of um, work out of it for you.